Hello everybody, welcome to Tag Corner and I've actually been tagged in something for a change thank you very much uh, Heather Greg for tagging me in the Tell Me The Truth tag um, originally created by Shannon's uh, bookish musings and music um, last week in fact and since then uh, it's gone viral uh, as they say so everyone's doing it. Um, thank you very much Heather for tagging me. I will link to both of those videos down below. Um, question number one is, do your friends slash family slash co-workers know about your booktube channel? If so, do they watch? Um, so I started this channel about five years ago, did it for a couple of years and had a, a long hiatus and then started again last year. Uh, and and in all that time, only a couple of people have ever known about it. Um, they do watch, um, or at least one of them does. Um, other than that, I have absolutely no interest in, in telling anyone. I um, purely for the the reason that I I don't know many people in real life who read books. Um, at least not to the extent that we do here on BookTube. Um, so there wouldn't be any point. Um, my family, for instance, certainly wouldn't be interested in watching these videos or booktube in general. Uh, same goes for my co-workers. So, um, and I've spoken about this on the, on the channel before, but I, I'm quite happy. Well, I prefer to keep my reading life and, book, and by extension booktube life separate from my real life. I don't ever read, talk about I'm not the one to ever bring up the the topic of books in conversation um, because nine times out of ten people don't read books anymore so this, I just try to keep it separate and um, it's sort of like a safe haven from 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 all that so um, sort of a personal uh, and reading is a very personal thing obviously but um, um, I'm content um, to to not so much keep it a secret as just simply not bring it up. Um, but yeah, uh, question number two: When watching booktube videos, do you ever speed them up to save time? Uh, uh, this is not something that's ever occurred to me uh, to do. Um, in the same way that it's never occurred to me to watch a film or or a TV show on fast forward um, because wouldn't that just be unbearable and um, unenjoyable and, and annoying um, I, I just don't understand why anyone would do this but apparently a lot of people do um, uh, I mean I have nothing against people other people doing it if they want if they want to do it to save time then fine but I just don't think see how it's worth it um, because one of the things I love most about BookTube is it's um, it's the closest you can come to having a bookish conversation with someone without actually being there. Uh, and if you speed it up, um, it it breaks the spell. So I I just don't yeah as I say I've no. Um, no desire to do this um, and um, uh, I, I did actually test um, I did actually try doing this uh, with a couple of videos a moment ago just to see what it is actually like and it was it was horrible <laughs> I'll, I'll never do it again so um, uh, that's the answer to that question uh, number three do you watch videos uh, from should we start again uh, number three, do you watch videos from all the booktubers you subscribe to, all of their videos, or just some? Um, uh, no, I, I don't watch anywhere near as much booktube as I used to, um, and I certainly don't interact with uh, other booktubers the way I used to either. And I, I'm quite content with that, although I do feel a bit guilty at times, but... Um, I, I definitely don't. I, I don't know how many how many booktubers I'm subscribed to, but I, I do not watch all of them. And um, there are only a, there are probably about a dozen booktubers who I watch regularly, and only a handful of those who I watch every single video. 
Um, but you know, life gets in the way. Um, you know, of a full time job, and um, going to the office a bit more now, and things sort of getting back to normal after COVID, etc. And um, so I don't have quite as much free time, but yes. It's um and given the choice between reading and watching booktube in my free time, as much as I love booktube, um I'd obviously rather spend that time reading books. So um so yeah. Uh number four, do you watch slash subscribe to everyone who subscribes to you or only channels you really want to see? Um so I don't you know, I, I don't get that many new subscribers and every time I do I get an alert and I always check to see if that person has a channel themselves and if they do then I automatically subscribe um, and then I'll watch some videos um, if I like them I'll continue watching if I don't then I'll stop watching but that's just the way it is not always compatible with everyone on booktube um, but I usually stay subscribed um <clears throat> yeah i think that covers that question more or less um number five do you watch slash subscribe to booktubers based more on content or personality um this is a really interesting question and uh, i've been surprised by some of the answers here actually uh, because uh, I suppose it depends how, what you mean exactly by content, but I'm assuming um, it means um, the the kinds of books that you're talking about, and um, and of course the kind of videos you're making. But let's just assume it means the kind of books that you that that, book, that you're talking about. And uh, if that's the case, then I would lean towards content. Um, of course, both are important. Um, but say, for example, um, you're talking about just crime novels and nothing else. It doesn't really matter how charismatic you are or or how high the quality of your videos is. Um, I'm not going to watch for very long just purely because I'm not interested in that kind of thing. Um, uh, that being said... Um, uh, I like to think that I have a fairly wi wide ranging uh, interest in in books, so it would be quite um, unlikely that you're you're never going to talk about something that I I'm interested in. Um, but there are some channels out there who talk about super niche stuff, and I I, that I can't get into. Um, and but if you're uh, on the flip side, if you're if you're content is purely stuff that I'm really interested in then and and you have no personality whatsoever I'm still quite happy to watch <laughs> um, I guess that's why some of you are here actually um, but um, yeah so of course in conclusion both, both those things are very important but content is is perhaps more important to me um, yeah um, number six, do you listen to booktube videos while doing other things or do you sit and watch the video? Um, I've, I'm, I can't multitask, um, I don't really like to either, so no, I, I, um, if I'm watching booktube, I'm watching booktube, I, I, I'm not doing anything else, um, I, I, <laughs> I suppose in theory I could put a video on the TV and then go do some housework but then I'm not giving it my full attention so chances are I'm going to miss stuff and that, that really bugs me actually but um, the, the thought that I'm missing something and um, so I can't really do it but uh, I suppose the only exception for me multitasking is I will put music on when I'm cooking dinner but I don't know if that really counts because um, I can just cook dinner on autopilot, so I'm only really concentrating on trying not to chop my fingers off on the chopping board. But other than that, it doesn't really require much of my attention, and um, neither does music. So um, 
but uh, in terms of this question, no, I, I like it's nice to sit down and just watch watch a video or take ten minutes off and grab a drink and, and just watch a video. So so no, um, and of course the last question is, as always is tax and booktubers, but um, I'll just take the cop out answer and and say uh, if you're watching this video, consider yourself tagged. So I'm sure many people have done this already. So. Um, uh, and if you haven't been tagged by me, I'm sort of sure someone else will tag you. Um, but I'd like to see your answers if you haven't. And um, I've been up. Thanks again, Heather, for tagging me. And um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.